So my process over the summer was the following. Um, I reviewed literature, um, then reviewed a selection of existing curricula to gather ideas for what would be, what should, what should um, be contained in different modules and sort of the design of all of it. Um, I collaborated with a Latino partner in Winston-Salem um, to organize and facilitate focus groups. Um, I also conducted some informal interviews with Latinos serving healthcare providers in the area. Um, and then sort of gathering information from all of these steps, created a curriculum outline with Dr. Rhodes' guidance and Jeannie's input as well. Um, and then reviewed this outline with some of the health educators and other community members to get their feedback, and that's something that we're going to continue to do. Some of the recurring issues are that there's limited sexual education in many Latino families, and that sex as a topic is often considered taboo. Um, there are also often misconceptions about a woman's reproductive health system, and sort of the hows, what's, and why's of pregnancy, and also how contraceptives function. Um, among this population, it's often noted that there are high birth rates and delayed pre prenatal care, as in women getting prenatal care after their first trimester. Um, also, sexual communication has been identified as predictive of condom use and HIV STI protective behaviors, and that this is really important then in terms of what's included in the curriculum. Um, and as I'm sure many of you are aware, that there are often that their literature talks a lot about or includes information about the multiple barriers to access and care, which are really huge: the fear, the lack of knowledge about entitlement to services, transportation issues, financial problems, cultural and linguistic barriers. 